So this case was a female neutered feline, 12 years old, weighing at 3.3 kilos, was a Turkish van. Had a history of vomiting with slight improvement on prednisolone and was borderline chronic kidney disease. So here we can see the stomach. Um, so we've got the stomach wall around here. We've got the lumen in the center filled with fluid. So it's anechoic. Um, and we can see that the stomach wall is really thickened around here. And we've got a total loss of wall layering in this area. So this is a moving image of the same stomach. So we can see there's some areas with normal stomach wall layering up here where we've got uh, mucosa, which is dark, submucosa, which is light, muscularis, which is dark, um, all in equal proportions. Um, and, and that's seen quite normally up here with some rugal folds as well. But down here in this area, we see this thickened stomach wall. So really, really thick in this area down here. And we see this lymph node popping in as well, which is hypoechoic, rounded. It's not a lymph node we'd normally see on ultrasound of the abdomen. So really standing out prominently there. So we've definitely got an abnormality in the stomach wall and it's um, affecting the local lymph node also. So measuring the lymph node here, um, which is caudal to the bladder, um, we can see that um, it, although it's measuring less than half a centimetre, it is still more prominent um, and more hypoechoic and rounded than we would expect a lymph node in this area to be. I'm using half a centimetre as the um, thickness of the lymph node that I would expect a cat lymph node to be under in the abdomen. And here we're measuring the, the stomach wall. This was actually measuring it between one and a half and two centimetres in different areas, where we, whereas we'd expect a normal cat stomach wall to be much more like a quarter of a centimetre in thickness. So this thick wall here and this um, lymph node here, we can attempt to take fine needle aspirates to get, get us our information on a diagnosis. Um, unfortunately, the lymph node was um, too difficult to get to. Um, we'd either have to pass through liver or other small intestine, which we just cannot do. Otherwise, we'll, we could cause a peritonitis. Um, so we couldn't get to the lymph node. So we needed to assess a, a, a way to get to the, the thickened um, stomach wall so that we could assess that um, um, histologically um, to see if we could get a definitive diagnosis. So in this case, we had focal mass in the stomach. In cats, that could be due to neoplasia or inflammatory bowel disease. However, with the enlarged, rounded and hypoechoic lymph node nearby, that makes it much more likely to be a neoplastic in this case. It wasn't possible to sample the lymph node due to the location. The stomach wall unfortunately did not yield much sample. There was also a bit of sediment seen in the bladder. The FNA results came back from the stomach wall as a low cellular sample with mixed inflammation with unremarkable cells. We really need a biopsy for definitive diagnosis. So currently the cat is being weaned off steroids so that a biopsy could be taken.